Where does your e-commerce stuff come from? We're talking to Susan Lyon, CEO of Guilt Group. Susan, you're going to do $200 million in revenue this year. What happens in those warehouses? How do you get all that stuff to people? Well, we've got a, a big picking and packing team out at the, at the Brooklyn Naval Yards, but we just started working with another company, um, and, and we opened a second warehouse up in Andover, Mass., that uses the Kiva robots, which, if you haven't seen them, are incredibly cool. Uh, they do the picking part of the pick and pack, and they use 2D barcodes to figure out where the product is, and they are constantly moving around the space, bringing the goods to the packer. So, so it's incredibly efficient. So there's a huge warehouse. Huge warehouse. There's just stuff all over yeah. the place. Yep. You've got these little yep. boxes yep, running yep, around. Yep. Is there a central brain somewhere that tells them where to head yeah, to find is, the stuff? Yeah, there is, and I can't tell you what that is. Okay, so there's a central <laughs> brain that knows. These little boxes run yeah. around. They, they look. Yeah. They find no, the barcode. They, they don't look. They find the barcode on the floor, so the they, floor. they are sensing it where it is, and they bring that pallet over. With lots of stuff, with not lots just of stuff. in order. Absolutely. Lots of stuff in it, and the packer picks one of those, and it goes into the box, and meanwhile there's another Kiva robot bringing the next item, so it's very quick, it's very efficient, you don't lose goods. Nobody's allowed in that space except the robots. So you've got them scurrying all over the place? Do yeah. they crash into each other? Never. You don't have Never. robot accidents? Never. Never. And so <laughs> when you're selling dresses, yeah. lots of different sizes, yeah. is there a different palette per size? Uh, you know what? That's a very good question, and I'm not the person to answer. Um, my guess is yes. And it hands you the palette. Do you have to say thank you or anything? What does it do? Just go away? No. Do they, they take breaks? They just... They just move and it's really interesting to watch because they never bump into each other because they can sense when they're close to another one and uh, it is programmed so that the item that is needed first gets the right of way and you watch these things they move it's like a dance and it's if you were in thing. there would they smash into you or they sent no. you to well you're not allowed to move into that I see, space it's just the key no robot space yeah, okay. this is robot space and <laughs> So how are they powered? Do you have to plug them in at night, charge them up? Again, good question. <laughs> <laughs> how much do they cost? A lot. They do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Kiva what? is a great company. Actually, Zappos uses them too. Um, and you should get them on. I'm sure they'd be happy to, to explain. So do they ever blow it and bring you the wrong stuff? And what do you do if that happens? It's, it is so rare for there to be an error with the robots. Humans are much more prone to error. Right, so somebody puts the wrong barcode yeah. on, it brings you the wrong stack. So yeah. you've got the robot sitting there. Yeah. You know it's the wrong stuff. I mean, do you have a conversation with it? Say, no, try don't. the one next door? <laughs> no, you no, send no, somebody no. into the no, racetrack no. where they're no. all... I, it's, I, I don't even know if it's ever happened, to be honest. So, you know, as long as it's, it's received correctly, you don't have a problem on the robot level. Great, thank you, Susan.